Hey everybody, I'm um, sitting here and uh, just praising God and worshiping and thinking about my father. I never cried when my father passed. Um, I think I was just in that place where I was doing and moving. But over time, I found myself being able to sit down and cry and break down. But um, I'm just here to talk about fathers, the presence and the need of a father. If there's one thing I feel right now, once my father died, um, it was naked, uncovered, vulnerable. And I thought it's interesting that even as I saw my father sick, sick in bed, sick on his deathbed, like I knew this, this, this is not going to go any other way. I still felt covered. As long as he had breath, I still felt covered. The moment that left I felt so naked, even as a grown woman. And I thought to myself, God, we need fathers. This is what fathers are for. That feeling of being open to the world, that anything and anyone can now attack you, is so real when there is no father, good or bad good or bad, drunkard, whatever. Because when I was a kid, my dad wasn't saved. And still, I never felt what I feel right now. So he was still covering me. Because just the fact that you are a father means you're still made in the image and likeness of God the Father. So you have those elements, even if you're not good at it. Having a father around, even a bad one, keeps certain things and people away. And that's where it's important to have them. But my father was amazing. As many fathers are. But what losing my father has especially done is led me to the place where I am now pressing into God, almost like, just like a, a vulnerable little bird, you know, chick, 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 whatever. Kungu kiparanga. Tucking myself into my, under God and saying, just hide me under the shelter of your wings. Just hold me and tuck me in there because I, feel that exposure and now Psalms 91 feels so real to me he who dwells in the shelter of the most high shall rest with the passing of my dad I find myself tucking myself into God and I'm just like you're my daddy where, where please papa take me in and hide me hide me away like a little baby it doesn't matter how old I am my father was my covering my father was still that place even with my husband my father still was a covering and that's why it's important now I, I know it for your father to approve of the man you marry and to hand you to give you your hand in marriage because he says I approve I see that this man is able to cover you it's not just about the house and the and the paying of school fees there's more there's more we, we you can go to a public school your kids can go to any school 
if you can't afford, you know, but there's more. And my father now being saved covered us in prayer. He covered us in a way fathers outside of salvation wouldn't understand. And that's why it's so wonderful and so beautiful to, to have a God-fearing man and father. He will cover those children in another way. We've been seeing people confessing even from the kingdom of darkness saying that when these children are prayed for by their parents and covered by the blood of Jesus, by their parents, we just can't get to them. And my father covered me. I'm not saying that my mother didn't pray, but man, many other times I walked into my father's room and found him on his knees praying, even when he was sick. Praying. And we, we talked every day. And he was just checking it and covering me and blessing me. And now that's not there physically the last day i remember just laying my head on my father's chest and putting his arm on me and that was the last time i felt that covering even on his deathbed i felt covered but now psalms 91 is so real and it's it, i feel it like a blanket over me he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High will rest in the shelter of the Almighty. That is so real. That's your father right there. You don't have a father, that's your father. That's your covering. Run to him and you will be saved. Truly, truly. The one gift I can say I got from my father's death is that now I have to go to God 100 as my father in covering. I never did that before. I'm not going to lie. I took that, I took, I didn't see that part of God as my father, father. And now I see it because I've lost my physical and earthly father. Now I see God as daddy, as vava, and I can run to him and I long for him. I find myself just imagining I'm laying my head on God's chest, just crying, just being there, just resting my head on his shoulder, on his chest and just feeling like it's okay, being vulnerable and being okay to break down, even as old as I am. Those are fathers for you. Because no matter how old we get, we are still their children. They're little girls, they're little boys. What a gift. I'm not here to excuse any bad fathers, blah, blah fathers. I'm just here to say, if you have a father, thank God for that father and pray for him. If you don't father, have a father, lean into God. Lean into God. He is waiting. He will take you in and tuck you under his wings. We all need a covering. Let me tell you, the world is not a joke. And the prince of this world ain't playing. He's here to kill, steal, and destroy you. You better tuck yourself in under the shelter of the Most High, because that's the only place you're going to find rest. Ah, oh, I miss him. I'm thankful.